We all grew up thinking gravity pulls us down, that there's some invisible force pressing us to the ground. But what if that's not true? What if nothing is actually pulling us at all? What if we're just moving weren't we come, naturally, through a universe that's curved? Imagine standing on Earth. You drop a ball, it falls, but not because the Earth drags it down. It simply follows the shape that space-time tells it to. For over 200 years, Isaac Newton's idea ruled science. He imagined gravity as a force, a mysterious attraction between any two masses. Every planet pulls on every other, every apple on Earth, every star on every galaxy. Newton's equations were simple, powerful, and accurate. They described falling apples and orbiting moons with astonishing precision. But Newton himself was uneasy. He called it an action at a distance a strange invisible link between bodies that could act instantly across empty space. Then came Albert Einstein, a man who dared to question even Newton. Einstein wondered, what if gravity isn't a force at all? What if it's the structure of reality itself? In 1915, his theory of general relativity rewrote the laws of the universe. It said that mass and energy do not pull, they bend the fabric of space-time. And what we feel as gravity is just the consequence of that curvature. Imagine driving on a straight road. You steer forward, no effort, no turning. Now imagine that road lies on a curved hill. Even if you keep your steering straight, your car still follows the shape of the hill. That's what happens in space-time. Objects move straight along paths called geodesics. But those straight lines are drawn on a curved surface. When you drop a ball, it doesn't get pulled down. It follows the natural curve of space-time around Earth. When Earth orbits the Sun, it isn't held by an invisible string. It simply rolls along the curved geometry that the Sun's mass creates. Gravity is not a push or a pull. It's the shape of motion itself. And this idea changes everything. It means the universe is not a flat stage where things act. The stage bends, twists, and responds to the very actors upon it. Einstein's theory doesn't just curve space, it bends time. The closer you are to a massive object, the slower time moves. A clock on the ground ticks more slowly than a clock on a mountain. And satellites orbiting high above Earth must correct their clocks constantly. Otherwise, GPS navigation would fail within minutes. Time and space are inseparable. When space curves, time flows differently. That's why Einstein called it space-time. One four-dimensional whole. So when you say gravity pulls me down, what's really happening is that you're moving straight ahead in space-time, but time itself is flowing differently beneath your feet. Now imagine space-time so curved, so distorted, that even light, the fastest thing in the universe, cannot escape. That's a black hole, a place where the geometry of space-time folds in on itself. No force pulls you in, it's simply that every possible path leads inward. A black hole isn't a monster sucking matter. It's a region where the very concept of straight loses meaning. Inside space and time swap roles, the future always points toward the center. Einstein's elegant equation captures it all. Geometry on the left, matter and energy on the right. Matter tells space-time how to curve. Space-time tells matter how to move. What does it mean that gravity isn't a force? But the architecture of existence, it means we are part of that structure. Our bodies, our atoms, our every movement, each one writes a line into the geometry of space-time. There is no outside of the universe watching from afar. The observer and the observed are drawn on the same fabric. We are curves within curves, thoughts within the cosmic equation. Einstein replaced the idea of force with the poetry of form. He showed that reality is not commanded by push or pull but guided by shape, connection, and symmetry. So the next time you drop something or feel your weight upon the ground, remember nothing is pulling you down. You are simply following the universe's design, sliding along the gentle curve of existence. Gravity is not a force that holds the cosmos together. It is the geometry that is the cosmos. And in that realization, we find something more than physics, a glimpse of the unity between space time, matter, and meaning.